Hiya folks, we got another, well hopefully very tasty recipe for us today Sharon. Yeah, one of Jimmy's favourite dinners. Yes, and also one of my favourite dinners. Whenever we go out to a restaurant, which is not very often nowadays to be honest with you, one thing I do like is a rack of ribs baby. And they tend to cook them for ages and ages and make them so tender. And we're going to try and replicate that, but for a lot cheaper money, because we've got some down our local butchers, which we've just bought, already prepared, already coated in a... Seasoning. Hot and spicy seasoning sauce. So it's already been done for us. So the cooking method we're going to use today, baby, is going to be... Slow cooker. Happy days. Right, so these are the ribs we've actually got, folks. They come from our... Uh, butcher which we normally go to called East Coast Meats and they come in this pack comes in at £6.72 there as you can see which is very very reasonable you get three racks in there and this one here again all done on weight I think these are done this has got two, is it two in there Sharon? Two there yeah now there's two uh, ribs in there again hot and spicy these that only one's barbecue you forgot to mention these only come in at £4.75 yeah Sharon just realised or I just realised what Sharon just said they the, these ones are hot and spicy ribs and these are actually the barbecue ones so two two totally separate flavors there and normally when we go out to a restaurant you're paying between sort of i don't know 15 pounds yeah, something, something like, like that. that yeah 15 pounds for a rack of ribs or something like that but it's usually half a rack isn't it so right. yeah and i mean you're, you're not let's say for example this one here for four pounds 75 that's a that would be classed as a full rack yeah i'd say that's because there's two sets in there so that's only £4.75. And we've, we have had these before. They're ultra tasty, folks, I'll tell you that much. So we're going to try and replicate a, a meal you have in a restaurant uh, indoors. And the other thing you normally have with these is uh, fries. And I think they put a coleslaw in it normally, don't yeah, they? Yeah, a bit of side salad, isn't there? Yeah, so you, that's what you normally have. So we're going to try and recreate that for literally pennies. So how are we going to cook these then, baby? What have we got to do? Literally, I'll just take them out of there and stick them in the slow cooker. I rotate every couple of hours put that one on the bottom then that one on the top keep so they both get the heat right now as you probably know we could probably do these in the air fryer you can do them in the air fryer but we want to do them the way we know at the moment which is the the, the, the most tender fall off the bone and that is to cook them low and slow but also the slow cooker is a very another, another very cheap method of using yeah because you're cooking it uh, with not, not nowhere near an oven a main oven this is like a low wattage uh, item which you just leave in low and you can put it on go to work come home four five six hours later and because it's so low cooking the, the meat really does cook really slow so a, a, a slow cooker like this is another great way of actually saving money without turning your big blinking range cooker on baby so we're going to put them in there now and then when, when it comes nearer to this serving time which is going to be in a few hours time yeah. show isn't it just ticking away lowly lowly is that a word baby yeah. Slowly is the you word. Remember to rotate them. Yeah. Yeah, but what about if you're not in, Sharon? If you're not in, you're not in. We rotate them when you get in. Yeah. So it's no far, no, hard and fast rule. Yeah. Just do your own thing, baby. Yeah. So we'll do that, and then we'll come back a bit later on when they're actually cooked. I say we'll, we're going out for work. We, this is our work. Yeah, but later on as well. So we'll be here, so we can rotate them. We'll even show you the chips. Yeah. How, go. how are we going to do the chips? We're going to do the chips in the air fryer. Yeah. What chips are they? Roasted, but well, chip potatoes, not frozen chips. Right, fresh you're going to be cutting up your own potatoes. Not that's what she's saying. Frozen, yeah. And we're going to get a shop bought coleslaw. Yeah. We just get a cheap coleslaw, but we'll lay it out on the plate, folks, and we'll have to show you what it looks like, and we'll work out the actual costings compared to going to a restaurant. So we'll put these in there now, and we'll see you a little bit later on. Later on. Right, so here they are, folks, already prepared. Now, you could probably do your own seasoning if you wanted to, but these are so cheap, and they're very, very good as well, our butchers. So all we're going to literally do is just lay them in the slow cooker. There's no need to put any oil in there or anything. They'll cook in their own juices, Sharon, won't they? Oh, yes. And we're actually mixing them. So some, someone might say, oh, no, don't, put, don't mix that one with that one. But, yeah, it, it all comes out to a lovely flavour, Sharon. But if yeah. you're a bit finicky and you just want one type, that's, that's fine. It. Put them in, do what you want. This is what we want to do. Because nine times out of ten, we'll be sharing these anyway, Sha, won't we? Yeah, last time I done, I didn't do enough, so I've had to get more this time. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Yeah, All they're doing it. is sitting in there. And they're cooking their own juices. Yeah, I mean, look, look how well used their one is. Look, it gets really a lot of use it's as well. It's quite old as well, this one, yeah. isn't it? So you've normally got a low, high, medium and an auto setting. I don't know what the auto setting does on this, to be honest with you. But um, we just keep it on low. 
and that's what they'll be doing for the next few hours. Right, so as we mentioned before, folks, instead of doing a bag of chips, we've done the real thing, and we've done crinkle cut chips. Sharon's just done them. She's left the skin on. Let's have a look at these. So what you do, you peel them as normal, well, chop them as normal, leave them in water to soak to remove the starch, drain them, then dry them, put them in oil, and I'm just in the process now of just finishing off, add, adding some seasoning to it. Yeah, and we got one of those crinkle cut tools. Where is it, Sharon? In the drawer. Oh, it might be over there, I don't know. And that's all we use, folks. You just sort of stab, stab, stab down on the potato, and you end up with them. Crinkle cut potatoes, look at that, look. All seasoned up, ready to go. Right, so these are gonna go in the air fryer as they are. How long for, baby? Uh, about 25 minutes. 25 minutes on? Air fry, yep. 200. 200 degrees centigrade, so let's get them in there. Right, so where's our tray? Just whack them in there. Now we will toss these halfway through, or probably more than once, Sharon, won't we? Just do that. As the cooking commences, 200, 20 minutes, and let's just have a little look at these babies, Sharon. Let's have a look at our, look at them, folks, look. They've cooked down an absolute treat in there. They have been turned over a few times, haven't they? Yeah, I did turn them off, actually, for a bit. Yeah, so how long did they actually take? About four hours. About four hours in total. Yeah. And they, folks, will be as tender as anything, believe me. Well, folks, we got more out of this than what we thought. We've actually done four dinners out of this. If you was to buy one of these plates, yeah, at a restaurant or whatever, you're looking at 15 pound a plate, surely? I think the full rack's about 20, isn't it, I think? Let's have a closer look, folks. As you can see, we've not skimped on the portion sides yet. That was the one basket of chips that we've done there. And don't forget, some people do say, well, how do you know if you've got enough chips? Will it do a family and all that? Yeah, we was about half full on that basket, but as you can see, definitely enough there. We presented ourselves with a little bit of salad on the plate, which is again, straightforward and simple to make. We got a bit of coleslaw out of that silly little tub which we bought, which cost about a pound, shall? Uh, one pound nine. One pound nine pence. And then ribs, two racks on there, two racks on there, two racks on there, and one rack on there. In fact, I must own up, just remember that I had two rack of, well, half racks in the freezer. That's why if you those that will notice in the beginning, there's more ribs on the plate. So about these two were in the freezer. Right, so you'd put them in on top. All clever people that notice. You put them on the top. Yeah. But even so, that is still a substantial yeah. meal, what we've got there, yeah. Sharon. Absolutely fantastic. Just look at that, folks. Well, let's well, have a little taste just test. Show, look, just pulls off. How's that it pulling just, away? Just fell off. Well, go on, have a little taste, baby. Just take a bit off. There we go. What's, what's that like? So tender, unbelievable. That is the only way, I think, to cook ribs in the slow cooker. Right, move them to the side, folks. This is mine here. It's calling me, Sharon. It's calling me. Let's just cut the rib off there. Just look at how tender these ribs are, folks. Look. Oh, my God. Look. You actually pull it. You don't look. have to cut it. Sharon, look, put, look at that. Oh, folks, look. You've got to look at that. Look. I'm going in for this bit, folks. Let's have a go. That's a good rib. Look at that bone, it's clean, look, and that spice on that. The ones you get in the shops, folks, the ones you get pre-packaged, they're full of sugar. These are made fresh in the butchers. So go to your local butchers and get your ribs. They make their own marinade and stuff like that. And they've got none of the preservatives in that they do in the... Oh, I've got a bite to it, Sharon. Oh, oh. no. Stand there waiting for you. Mm. Folks, that is absolutely fantastic. You've got to get yourself some ribs and do them in your slow cooker. But leave it to the experts, folks. They know how they're doing it. They marinate these stuffs all the time. Support your local butcher. Mm. Anyway, give it a go, folks. This has cost us a fraction of what it would cost if we were going out for a meal. Anyway, we're going to have to go because we've got to dig into this. Got Jimmy and Charlotte over there dribbling, waiting for their dinner. So thanks very much folks, I hope you've enjoyed this little money saver and cooked in a slow cooker, which is a lot better than cooking it in your main oven, a lot smaller. Cook it and enjoy it, you will. Thanks very much folks and thanks again.
for our 7,000 subscribers, which we've just hit today. Just gone over it now. Yeah. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until bye. then, bye for now.